Hey DJs, welcome back. It's Jamie Hartley here again from Crossfader and today's video for the Serato DJ Pro tip series is about MIDI mapping. I'm going to show you how to remap some of the features on your controller. For this example, I'm using the Roland DJ202, but this will work with any controller using Serato DJ Pro. Now, I'm not a fan of how the saved loops are mapped out on this controller in particular, so I'm going to use this as an example for how to remap out the features that I want to the pads that I want. Follow along and then you can take your favorite features within the Serato DJ Pro software and remap them to your controller. This is great for entry level controllers like this that don't already have buttons or pad modes for the features that you like to use. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Do all that good stuff to help us keep making videos like this. Let's take a closer look. Out of the box the Roland DJ202 has its save loops pad mode hidden away. I like to use save loops and I want easier access to them. To access them currently I would have to press the loop padmo button twice. The top four pads are then mapped out as follows. First pad toggle loop on or off. Second pad save a new loop. Third or fourth pads to scroll up and down the list. Instead of this mapping I want to be able to access save loops by pressing the loop pad mode once. I also want to be able to jump to my choice of four save loops and have the option to toggle each loop on or off at any point. Currently the top four pads are auto loop and the bottom four pads are beat jump but I'm going to replace these bottom four. First, I'm going to listen through the track and save four loops that I'm happy with. By clicking the plus button in save loops, you can store any set loop. A quick tip on preparation here, I'm looking for different phrases within this song that are all different energy levels. I can then use my saved loops to either pick up the energy of the mix or take it down as and when I need to. Before mapping, let's explain what the buttons do on the saved loops. The one with the loop and play icon inside will jump to that point in the track and set off the loop. The icon next to it will toggle the loop on or off. These are the two buttons I want to map out for each loop slot. Navigate to the gear icon in Serato, then to the MIDI tab and make sure to select your controller and check the allow Serato hardware remapping box. Now exit the settings and click the MIDI button to the left of the gear icon. Move your cursor back over the loop buttons and select the first one. When the blue box appears, press the pad you want to assign to that action. Just make sure you're already inside the right pad mode before pressing MIDI. Now to repeat for each loop button. Once that's done, exit MIDI mode and check your new pad mappings work. The problem is now every time you press this pad it will jump back to the start of that loop. Let's map out the loop toggle buttons to the same pad's secondary layer using the shift button. For this to work you must first hold the shift button and then enter MIDI mode while holding it down. Now repeat the process with the loop toggle buttons all while holding shift on your controller. Once you are finished you can release the shift button and exit MIDI mode. Now let's check the mappings worked. I'm happy with that. You could then repeat this process for any other features within the Serato DJ Pro software. After you're happy with your current mapping, you can go back to the settings screen and save that mapping. This means you have the option of turning it off to use the original setup or loading it back on for your custom setup. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this Serato DJ Pro tip has helped you think of new ways to use your equipment. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And I'll see you in the next Serato DJ Pro tip very soon. Thanks, I'll see you next time.